Yes, who is cooking um, barbecue or cooking meat? Then, uh, what do you think? What do you think is the method of cooking he applied? Right, 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 right. method. No, uh, yes. specifically what? Uh, yes. 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 Grill or grilling method. Uh, it's correct that the person there grilled the meat. Right? So it is a type of dried heat, dry heat cooking. So it's good that you have already an idea of what the, uh, what the picture portrays. Okay. So now, why is it uh, for you? Why is it significant for us to know or to familiarize the method of cooking the meat. So why is it important? That, uh, we know the types of cooking method. Because it what? Because uh, it helps us to properly cook the, the meat to achieve its tenderness, the crispiness, using more delicious, no? with more palatable, so that's it. And also to make it more delicious and more nutritious. So that's, that's the uh, purpose there of familiarizing. Now, uh, we have here, so now let's continue to the uh, discussing the methods of cooking the meat. So what are the types and what are the techniques of cooking meat? Okay, so our topic for today is all about, again, what? Methods of cooking meat. Yes, 
So, now let's proceed to the moist heat cooking. So, in the moist heat, co moist heat cooking, so what is what would be the keyword there? It is a type of cooking that excess. Okay, that this is moisture. So, it, the cooking temperatures are much lower, ranging from 140 degrees Fahrenheit to a maximum of 212 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And now, let's uh, have the types or the techniques of the moist beef cooking. So, the first one is the meringue. So what is simmering? So it is the cooking liquid that is a bit hotter than poaching from 180 degree Fahrenheit to 200 degree Fahrenheit. So an example of simmering. Uh, example of a food that is cooked by simmering is just like a chicken being simmered in a cream sauce, uh, making broth. So, Nashay sabaw. Sabaw lang na siya. So that is a simmering of, it is put in a low temperature. So, next is the boiling. So this is very self-explanatory naman. So the water reaches to its highest possible temperature of 212 degree Fahrenheit. It is the hottest among the moist meat cooking. But it is the least um, likely to be used for cooking. It's because of its boiling, um, of its boiling portion that it can be damage the food if the food uh, could be boiled too much. As you can observe, if the food can be boiled too much, so the its texture will, will damage as well as its aroma. So. That's the boiling. I know that you are that you have the prior knowledge about this. So the next one is the steaming. So it employs hot steam to conduct the heat of the food item. So are you familiar already with steaming, right? Yes. So uh, give some example of the food that is processed or cooked by through steaming. Steaming. Yes, shofa, very common. Shomai. Yes, shomai. So that's the uh, those foods could be cooked through steaming. So it can be also done on a stove top. Uh, containing a small amount of liquid that is brought to a simmer. So now uh, the last one for the moist cooking technique is the bracing and stooping. So the food is partially covered with liquid and then simmered slowly at a low temperature. So that is the similarity. So what are their differences? So bracing and stooping. So when we say bracing, um, it, will, uh, it refers to cook larger cuts of meat. But then uses uh, the same ingredients with stewing. Uh, the difference between them is the stewing uh, refers to cook smaller cuts like cubes and strips. But then they have the same ingredients that they use. So that's their uh, differences. So example of bracing, a product of bracing. Uh, just like for example, Swiss steak. Uh, because the steak has larger cuts of meat. Then the most common uh, food that is product of stewing is, are you familiar with nudo? Yeah. Oh, yes. That's stewing. Ah. So like uh, the so those are the methods of cooking meat and then their techniques. So any question? No. no. Verifications? So I will take that that you understand.
our discussion today. Yes. Okay, so for now, uh, let's proceed to... Okay, so for now, uh, I want you to group uh, into two. So here will be group one and here will be group two. So for now, okay. So group one, then group two. Okay, so what you're going to do is uh, you try to observe the picture. Analyze the picture, and then you are going to paste or to classify the picture into the two methods, so to where it belongs. So, for example, um, one picture belongs to the dry heat cooking, and the other one belongs to the moist heat cooking. So, you have only to paste. Uh, you have only to paste the picture according to where method it belongs. You said? Yes. So you will uh, look through here. Your output. So okay, I will give you three minutes to do that one because you will check when you see your output. Thank you. 
Maybe get one more sheet of paper. So we can have a short list regarding our topic for today. Don't worry, it's only five items, but five items, but two points each item. So what we're going to do, so you have to determine the techniques of cooking meat and classify the following cooking methods according to their types. So for example, your answer uh, is grilling. So grilling dash what, uh, what method dry heat cooking. So Okay, understand? Yes. yes. The wrong setting is wrong. So two points each. So one point here and one point for the method. So I will give you five minutes to finish the technique. One point like this, brother. It's very easy, right? Yes. Again, two points each item. Long spelling is wrong. Can you refer to the example? So for those who finish answering, a kindly review your answers while waiting for the others to finish. Done? Are all done? Okay, so if you're done, yeah. okay, so kind of exchange your papers. Okay, we'll try to answer number one. Just say it, yes. Cooking for clothes, yeah. Dry cooking. What method? <coughs> uh, what technique? One fry. Okay, so 
Uh, cooking for lumpia is deep frying. Deep frying. Yes, it belongs to dry meat cooking. Yes, that's right. What about number two? We'll try to answer. We'll try to answer number two. Yes. This is right. For number two? Yes? Pardon? Dry it and go. Dry it cooking and then no. Okay. Cooking chicken adobo is Moist it is moist, moist it cooking and it's moist it cooking and it is yes correct cooking abrasion yes it's crazy. number three yes okay that's correct number three is boiling and then it is moist it cooking. So one point, one point. For number four. Yes. Cooking with human roasting. Yes, that's correct. So roasting and dry cooking. For number five, last. Another hand. We'll try. We'll try. Yes. Cooking some kind of things with it. Steaming. 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 It is a sure one. It is, yes. It is steaming. Belongs to moist to cooking. Okay, so we have the number of your scores. And then return the papers to the owner. So again, I have two points each. So one point for the steaming and one point for the method. So, do that perfect. So, I need submit to that 10. 10 score. Then 9. I will be the one to record the scores. 10. Do that perfect. 10. Then 9. 8. 7. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, two, one. Then what? Okay, so for your assignment, so study in advance of what are the factors affecting choice of cooking methods you need. Again, study in advance of what are the factors affecting choice of cooking method you need. So take note of that. So any questions? No. No. Applications regarding our topic? No. Oh, so if you don't have questions, then let's call it a day. Thank you so much for your uh, cooperation and participation and for your the best uh, the best practice for your understanding. You you were able to understand our topic. So it's all said for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much, class. Yeah.